what is going on YouTube it's your boy Billy Kibaki and in today's video I am going to show you how to soft mod your original Xbox now this video will be a long video because there are a lot of stuff that I will be going over just to make sure that you understand everything there is alright so I will be showing you how to soft mod it I will also show you some tools that you will need and also some devices that you will need and also games or a game that you will need to do this soft mod okay so like I said the video will be a long video alright so let's get started okay so let's go over a few things first there's a thing on the motherboard that's called the clock capacitor you will need to remove that if you have a 1.0 to a 1.5 motherboard you can easily figure out what version of motherboard you have after you've done the soft mod so let's go ahead and talk about some stuff first just to get your understanding a little bit more so over here on this um, PDF file here I will leave the links in the description so make sure that you guys read the description so basically this will help you to identify the revision of your Xbox meaning if it's a 1.0 1.1 go all the way up to a 1.6 B motherboard so if you have a Xbox from 1.0 all the way up to a 1.5 you will need to open up the Xbox and remove the clock capacitor because the clock capacitor will eventually leak out and destroy the motherboard okay so if you have a 1.6 or a 1.6 B those are 100% okay you don't need to open up the Xbox all you have to do is do the soft mod and that's it but a 1.0 to a 1.5 you will need to remove the capacitor alright so this page will kinda help you to identify it so if you scroll down you can um, use the CD-ROM like I said read through this guys you can use the CD-ROM to kinda identify your Xbox or you can use the hard drive to identify what Xbox you have so if you go further down here it will show the date so if you if you turn your Xbox over to the bottom and look at the release date it will kind of give you an indication of the revision so let me go ahead and show you a picture of my Xbox so this is my Xbox the date that it was released right here so there it is so if I go by using this page here I can tell that um, it's like a 1.0 that I have there you go right there so 2002 um, fifth and the second so my one is probably a 1.1 so I will a 1.0 sorry so I will need to remove the capacitor if I scroll go down it shows you right here O2 and I have O2 here so yeah a 1.1 to a 1.0 that I have okay so make sure that you look on the back of your Xbox and see if you can figure out what type of revision Xbox you have okay secondly over here as I said the links will be in the description here will kinda help you to figure out what type of USB device work on your Xbox so you will need a flash drive but not all flash drive works with the Xbox so you will need a flash drive maybe around 2 gigs or 1 gigabyte make sure that it's a 2.0 2.0 works a lot better like I said a small flash drive you can use a 256 megabyte flash drive but make sure that it's um, 2.0 not all flash drive will work so just scroll down and kind of see if you recognize any one of these flash drive and then go ahead and purchase it like I said you only need a small flash drive so over here on eBay I have this one gigabyte flash drive selected and it's a it's a 2.0 flash drive like I said guys very cheap all you need is like a 2.0 flash drive one gigabyte or even 256 um, megabyte a very small flash drive you need not a large one okay over here on 
eBay again you will need a control to female adapter so this will help you to plug the USB flash drive in the Xbox so you will need to pick this up as well again around four dollars something okay so that's about it for that section so let's go ahead and show you guys about the games okay so these are the games that you will need you will need one of them not all of them okay just one of these games is good enough to do the soft mod with so you can use um, 007 agent under fire the black label so if I go inside this folder here it will kind of give you more of an understanding and I added a readme file so all of these stuff will be in the description so here it is the black label and there's the tick so this version is good to use if you purchase the platinum version not all of these platinum version will work okay so keep that in mind right here gives you more of an indication of which one of the platinum version of agent under fire will work so if it has the the brand code number right here 14 48 uh, 517 then this one will work if it has this one here then this one will not work so it's very easy to follow so make sure that you guys keep that in mind like I said you only need one of these games not all of them so if you can purchase Mecha Assault the platinum version will not work so you have an X the black label will work so if you're picking up Mecha Assault, um, Mecha Assault, make sure you pick up the one with the black label. If you're going to use Splinter Cell, both of the Splinter Cell works, the Platinum version and also the black label right here works. So both of these Splinter Cell works to do the soft mod. If you have Tony Hawk, then Platinum version works and also the black label works okay like I said you will need one of these games to do the soft mod okay so like how we figure that part out guys let's talk about the tools that you will need differently you will need the Explore 360 you will also need the Xbox soft modding tools extra disc but I'm not gonna use this in today's video I'll do it in another video so look out for that video and you will also need the Xbox soft modding tool right here okay so let's go ahead guys and get started okay so we're gonna open up the Xbox soft modding tool okay once you open it up you will see the soft mod package folder here so open that up and right here you have a bunch of saves that you can use so if you're going to use 007 then copy 007 if you're going to use mecha salt then copy the mecha salt if you're going to use splinter cell copy both of the splinter cell right here if you have platinum version or the original version if you're going to use Tony Hawk then copy the Tony Hawk over all right so I am going to use Mecha Salt. So this is the only one I need to take out. So I'll take that out there. And I'll also take out the soft mod save there. And that's it. Now we can close this down. Okay, so go ahead and extract your um, Mecha Salt or the, the file that you want to use. Okay, so that's done. Here it is. There it is. So next we're going to extract the soft mod save folder. So extract here again. And it's extracted in this folder as well. So now we have two folders inside it. Okay. So now we can go ahead and um, delete these two files. Okay. Now what you need to do guys is go ahead and plug your USB stick inside your adapter and then plug it to the Xbox let me show you guys a picture about the USB stick on your Xbox so if you plug your USB stick in your Xbox and you get this message 
right here that it's not functioning and it may be damaged then that mean the USB stick is not compatible with your Xbox if you plug another USB stick in the Xbox and your Xbox screen flashes like this then that mean it's not compatible with your Xbox okay so let's go ahead and plug the USB in the adapter and plug it to the Xbox and let me show you guys the message that you should get on your Xbox screen so here I have my Xbox so if I go up to memory so you will get this message right here if your USB flash drive is working correctly with the Xbox if it's compatible you will see this message memory unit 4a the memory unit you inserted isn't working correctly it has been erased so press ok and as you all can see up in the right top corner we now have controller 4 so that's the memory card right there if I click on it there is nothing in the memory card okay so let's go back out let's go out again now let's remove the USB flash drive from the Xbox and plug it back to the computer. Once you plug it back to your computer, you will get this message. You need to format the disk drive before using. So we're just going to do cancel. OK, cancel again. OK, so now what you want to do is open Explorer 360. Click run then this page will open up right here so you want to click drive open hard drive mem card click on it and you will see partition zero shows up so now go to your data folder you want to right click open a new window then go back to your explorer right here you want to click on the part that says partition zero so click on it then you want to drag the file over And that's it now go back to the other file now click on it and you want to drag it over here as well and that's it so now you can go ahead and click drive again and click close you can also check to make sure that the files are on the USB just to make sure. So you can click drive again, open, hard drive or mem card, partition, and there you go. The drives, the files are there. Okay, so now we can click drive again, close, then close this down, then close down this page. Go down here and you want to eject your USB flash drive safely. Now let's go ahead and insert the flash drive back in the adapter and let's plug it to the Xbox with the game that you want to use. Like I said, I'm going to use Mecha Salt. So I'm going to insert Mecha Salt, the black label, inside the Xbox and let's go ahead from right there. Okay guys, so now that we are back on the Xbox, you want to go up to Memory, press A and you want to go up to the right corner where your memory card is it, your memory card might be in a different location but mine is in the right top corner so I'm gonna press A and right here you will see that I have the Mecha Salt and I also have the Xbox soft modding tools so I'm gonna press right on my d-pad and select the Mecha Salt press A press A on copy and you want to copy it over to the ho Xbox hard disk so press A and that's it press B and go back down now go to the Xbox soft modding tools right on the d-pad to select the modding tools press A A for copy and press A to go copy it over to the Xbox alright so once that's done all we have to do right now press B and go back out press B again now what you need to do is insert your modding game so whatever game you're gonna use if you're gonna use 007 Mecha Salt 
Tony Ox or Splinter Cell, go ahead and insert that game that you have. So I'm going to insert Mech Assault and boot it up. Okay guys, so now that we have our exploited game loaded up, like I said, whatever game you're going to use, go ahead, insert it and boot it up. So I'm using Mech Assault, so all I have to do is go to Campaign, so press A, and right here you will see this option Run Linux, so press A on it. Okay guys, so you will get this message right here. So it says thank you for choosing the Xbox soft modding tool. If you have any feedback or bugs, please let me know via the Xbox Homebrew Discord. Thank you. With this soft mod, the process is simple and plain easy. All you have to do is press A when asked. So that's simple as it guys. So all you have to do now is press A. Your Xbox LED like the front LED should change to a red color. This is normal. Okay, so press a So sit back and let it extract and do what it needs to be done All right, so you should get this message your EPRON backup will be placed in e backups EPRON copy the EPRON folder to your PC once the dash board has loaded up and keep it safe so you will need to back up your EPRON guys so all we have to do now is press I understand okay so you will get another message saying that the EPRON bin is required to create a new HDD for this system in case your Xbox HDD dies you need the EPRON bin file to create a new locked drive this is why it's important to back it up and keep it safe. So basically what it's saying is that you should always back up your EPRON files. So just in case your Xbox hard drive dies, you can easily replace it using the EPRON files to create a lock drive. Because all the Xbox um, hard drive, it's locked to the specific system. So you will need the file to create a new hard drive if your Xbox dies. Like I said, I will show this in my next video. So go ahead and press I understand, press A. Okay, so this is the final message you're getting right here. So it's saying, uh, well, that's you all modded. See, I told you it was pointless process, but now I need to restart the Xbox. So when you see the green flubber animation, take the disc out. So click I understand. So once the Xbox restart and you see the, the green thing, take out the disc now. So press eject and that's it. All right, so now we have this message. It started to install some stuff, so just give it time. Okay, so that's it guys. You have successfully soft modded your Xbox. Now the next important thing that you should keep in mind is that you need to figure out which revision Xbox motherboard you have. If you have a one point zero or a 1.1 go all the way up to 1.5 then you will need to open up the xbox and remove the clock capacitor okay if you have a 1.6 or 1.6 b you don't need to do any of that all right so right here on the right hand side it shows that xbox v 1.0 like i said 1.0 all the way up to 1.5 you will need to remove the clock capacitor. So in my case, I will need to remove the clock capacitor. So I will show you that how to remove it in my next video. All right. So that's it, guys. You have successfully soft modded your Xbox. If you do not like the skin right here, you can always go down to skins and you can choose different skins here. If you want something that looks like the original skin, from the Xbox you can use the default one right here and you will end up with this one here so it kind of looks like the original um, Xbox skin in some ways alright 
so that's it guys that's how simple it is if you like the video give it a thumbs up share the video around and also i will see you guys in my next video